Looking at the Republican race for president, it could be a tough road ahead for John Huntsman. New polling puts the former ambassador at the back of the pack, which could be why the White House seems to be focusing on a different ex-governor. At the Bloomberg Breakfast today, senior Obama advisor David Plouffe took aim at Mitt Romney, calling him a world-class contortionist on the president's economic plan. Matt Makoviak is a Republican consultant and president of Potomac Strategy Group. Well, I was sitting there at that breakfast and, uh, you know, you don't expect direct answers to questions, but this was just sort of thrown out there by, by David Fluff, uh, not even an answer to a question about Mitt Romney. So clearly they think that he is the guy to beat. I think there's no question that Romney's stronger today than, than most, I think, professional uh, political class folks would have thought he would have been two months ago. Um, the fundraising, while it, it isn't as strong as it was last cycle for Romney, it's stronger compared to the rest of the field. Um, and he's you know, in strong position in New Hampshire. Um, I do think he's the front runner. He's not unbeatable. Uh, right now, we have, don't have a candidate in the field, I think, that's putting together a really strong challenge to Romney. And I think that's why Perry, uh, the governor of Texas, has a tremendous And I think if you talk to White House people, they also say that it is still an uncertainty certain field. They don't know what Rick Perry is going to do. They don't know what the, the Michelle Bachman play in Iowa, although they clearly enjoy it. Uh, that could be knocking down Palenti. But going back, to the, the, going back to John Huntsman, he's got to begin to sort of make a move. And right now in New Hampshire, this poll at least, and his rather anemic fundraising shows that he still didn't get any bounce out of the rollout for sure. That's right. I mean, he's not running in Iowa. He's at 2% in the WMUR poll that you cited in New Hampshire. You know, he's going to have to show people that there is a path to the nomination, and that's the case I made in my National Review piece last week, that although he's a, a fine person, a great public servant, probably deserves the Presidential Medal of Freedom for his service to the country, he's not going to be our nominee based on what we know today. There's no path to the nomination. He's not running in Iowa. He's not strong in New Hampshire. The other states don't set up well. I think they're betting on Florida, but that didn't work for Rudy Giuliani in 2008. It's going to be too late. Too late in the Game. I think so. And what do you see about Palenti at, these, at this stage? Uh, is Palenti really the one most hurt by Michelle Bachman's unexpectedly strong showing, the, her ability to connect with voters? He's hurt because he had invested so much in Iowa, and he has invested so much in Iowa in terms of he has the largest team there. He's he, you know, he's going to have to do well in the straw poll and Ames uh, on August 13th. So he is hurt by Bachman to some extent, but I also think you want to have a bad month early. You know, if you look back at 2008, McCain had a bad month early and was able to rebound and became the nominee. So I, I think, bomb, I, actually. I, exactly. That's exactly right. I wouldn't write, I wouldn't write Paul Lenti's obituary yet. He's going to have to step up fundraising. He's going to need good performances uh, in the debates coming up. And he's also going to have to do well in the straw poll. If he does poorly in the straw poll, it's going to be really hard for him. Well, he does now have Sarah Huckabee, who's well regarded, helping him in Iowa. That's right, running his straw poll uh, effort. That's right. Matt McCoviak, great to see you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much.